Excited about learning Blender? Stick around after this video and I'll show you how you can get a discount on a 3D modeling and animation course at Brainy Pixel Academy. Hi, Michael here. This is the second lesson in our Blender Teapot tutorial series. And in this lesson, we're going to add subdivision surface smoothing to our teapot. So click the teapot to select it. And uh, let's go ahead and change our shading for the view to solid. And you can see the polygons that make up the teapot these four-sided uh, little faces. And uh, we can even select the wireframe view here to uh, see in more detail these faces. And then come over here to the Properties uh, dialog, or the Properties Editor, and scroll down till you get to the little blue wrench. And go ahead and click that bl blue wrench, and that will put you in the Modifiers menu. And we're going to add a modifier. So click on the Add Modifier menu here and scroll down here in the generate column to subdivision surface and right away you'll see how this has been subdivided in a way that has smoothed these surfaces now it can also be subdivided to where it doesn't smooth it um, here i can switch from catmull clark style subdivisions to simple and you can see that it is subdivided but not smoothed so let's go back to catmull clark and we can change the smoothing settings for the rendering and for the view. If we go in the view button here and click on the right, you can see that we can step that up to two subdivisions, even three, and higher. Although generally I would be cautious about going a lot higher because uh, it can really slow down your computer and potentially if you have a lot of things in the scene or go really high, you can crash your computer. So not so great. So let's step that back to two. And uh, now I want to show you uh, a nice shortcut. If you hold the control key and press control one, then the selected object automatically gets a subdivision surface modifier on it. Well, let's do that as an example here. We're going to delete this modifier and it goes back to its original state. And we're going to press control and then the number one on the keyboard above the keys. I'll press control and number two, control and number three. And in each case, it is changing the settings for the modifier. So that's a handy shortcut. Um, but uh, the final product here, I think we're going to leave it just at uh, one subdivision. And uh, we'll continue uh, with more about uh, smoothing in the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've created some great courses for you at the Brainy Pixel Academy website. And if you really want to learn 3D modeling and animation in Blender 2.8, we've built a course that's project-based that takes you step-by-step -step through the interface. This is a course I've taught at colleges, I've taught um, young people, I've taught adults. And uh, through that, I've learned a way to teach people Blender in a way you can remember it, even when you come back to it weeks later. We use a lot of the interface menus initially, and uh, if you go on over to the course, you'll see right here um, that we've got a cheeseburger challenge to get you started working, moving things in 3D space. Um, we create a domino, we create a frying pan out of curves, and we do spinning and curves for the handle create some scrambled eggs. When I, I'm not scrambled eggs, sunny side up eggs. Um, we rig a robot arm and uh, that's cool. So that's a little introduction to uh, rigging and animation there. Then we move on and we do a little bit of texture painting and uh, we then take a robot character and we animate that robot character jumping on a box and then jumping up on a barrel. And that's a lot of fun and very satisfying. And then we edit a little movie using the Blender sequence editor. So if you think this course is for you, um, go on over there to uh, brainypixel.com slash courses and you'll find a link to the site or check the description below the video and you can get a discount on this course using the special discount keyword teapot, T-E-A-P-O-T. So uh, we'll put that on the screen, teapot, and uh, that'll give you 50% off of this course. I hope you enjoy it and I look forward to seeing some amazing things you create with Blender.